welcome back. So this week I have decided to delve back into the adventures in sewing. And I have really been wanting a neutral, sort of brown toned circle skirt. But I don't have one and I am frugal so I don't want to pay a lot of money for one and I can't go to vintage or charity shops, thrift shops because they are shut because it is quarantine time. So I decided to make my own. So I went online and I ordered some fabric from poundfabric.com which is as amazing as it sounds. I then scoured the YouTubes and found out how to craft my own circle skirt pattern. So I want a circle skirt but I also want it to have pockets because it's 2020, everything is going to... and we, we deserve pockets in our skirts. Come on. So pockets is a must and I also wanted to do an elastic waistband. Let's get started. This is the fabric I'm going to be using today. It's a brown cotton and I purchased it from poundfabrics.com. The link will be down below. To work out the measurements for my pattern piece, I measured what would be comfortable to slip over my hips and use this as my waist measurement. I then measured the length I wanted from my waist to just under my knee. I input these to the diagram on screen and treated them as my pattern. A lobster turned quite red and said the tango isn't in it, but the queerest noise of all. I heard a codfish ball when Father Neptune, wise old guy, at a mermaid winked his eye. At the mermaid's fancy ball, at the mermaid's fancy ball, in Father Neptune's hall. The weak fish fainted dead away, creating quite a bustle. It made them very strong again when they were fed on muscle at the mermaid's fancy ball. The sweetest thing of all. For dessert they served a dish of delicious jellyfish at the mermaid's fancy ball. Cut the fabric with one edge of the pattern on the fold and cut two pieces. Don't forget to add in your seam allowance. I got my pocket pattern from watching Bernadette Banner and Morgan Donner's videos on putting pockets into skirts. Cut four of these. I pinned my pockets into place. Around, all around, all around. They were the talk of the town. And 
I then stitched up both of the side seams and around the pocket. I then folded the top edge down an inch and a half and stitched that to create a channel for my elastic and threaded the elastic through securing it. I then had to hem the entire skirt. this project. Overall I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Um, obviously I need more practice. I need to do more sewing basically. I need to do more sewing. I'm quite happy with how the elastic went. There's just a few places where my stitching isn't very straight so it, the channels got a little bit thin so the elastic started to fold a little bit. So I'll probably go back in and just redo those little bits so that the elastic's not folded over. I also, who spotted this in the video, I put the pockets in the wrong way around. But it doesn't look too bad. Only if you go inside the pocket can you tell. So I think I'm just gonna kind of do some top stitching over them so the ends don't pop out of the pocket. For saying this is the first time I've done a pocket, I didn't think it went too bad. Also, <sighs> hems are the devil's work. I hate hemming anything, especially circle skirts because they take forever and I'm not very good at it. <laughs> so the hemming on this isn't great. 
I would highly say the hemming isn't good. I'll probably go back and try and really take my time and hem it again. Just don't look at the hem. <laughs> if I do those little fixes, I think it'll, it'll help improve the quality immensely. This was our adventures in sewing. And I now have a brown neutral tone skirt, which I am very happy about. And I think I'm gonna wear it a lot probably before I even do any of these alterations that I want to do. But now I have the pattern and I have the pocket pattern, I can make more and hopefully get better. Thank you for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. If you like what you saw and want to stick around, why not subscribe? I try and upload a video every Friday. And if you have any feedback on my atrocious, atrocious sewing skills, why not leave a comment? Constructive criticism only, please. See you all next week. Bye! So thank you for watching this week's... I was going to say this week's episode. They're not really episodes. Video. That's what it is. It's a video.